<laughs> Aiden, you ready for this? <laughs> it's been a minute. <laughs> it's been a minute, he says. <laughs> All righty, welcome back. I'm your man, Bad Chad. Queen Jolene's on the camera, and Aiden Abedin's going to help me take out the window. Aiden's on Christmas break. Believe it or not, he wants to come over here and help out and work. It's hard to believe, I know. <laughs> but he's coming over here to help work, at, work on the Bugatti. And what I'm going to do today is me and Aiden are going to cut out the window. I have done a lot of welding and grinding and, and never covered up the window. So this is not the window that's being used. Uh, it was put in place or left in place to keep the window opening in place. Jolene's going to buy a brand new window, a brand new gasket, and possibly the stainless. So what's going to happen is we're going to cut the window out of this. I have, I'm going to take the hood off right at the present moment. I haven't taken it off yet, but I'm going to take it off for you right now. I want Jolene to come over and take a look for a second. As you can see underneath of the hood right here in this first hole, that brake booster and master cylinder are about as close as what close as it can get for um, a supercar. Everything is so close in this car that it's really quite, uh, quite something else. But we're going to take the hood off, take the window out, and, and try to hook the brake pedal up. The brake pedal has been mocked up in there, but it's never been finished at all. It's just kind of sitting there or bolted there. The dash is just hanging there. It is the, um, the buck for the dash that has been made. But we have to make sure that the brake pedal, let's take it apart and I'll show you. Aiden, you're more than welcome to take a knife and go to the other side and start digging the window out. I'm, I'm suggesting just cut on the top of that part there gotcha. and just try to cut the rubber and we'll try to get it out as we go. I'm not, just don't cut yourself, that's all I ask. I got <laughs> um, so we're just going to take the hood off. Not sure how, even how we're going to mount the hood. I'm thinking that we're going to do it with uh, belt buckles or leather straps of some sort. Uh, I have a friend, Paul Benjamin, he's into doing leather belts. He did the belts on one of the cars we did on TV, uh, the race car. But we might do some, some belts maybe come across here and strap on. I wouldn't go across this part. But I might come across here and go here and maybe one up front. I'm not sure yet, but we have not decided that yet. Not even sure how that hood comes off. You're more than welcome, Aiden, to cut it at any, any point in time. I've got a little place in the back here of the hood. You want to lift that back of that hood up there for me, Aiden? Thank you. Ah. So, that's what it looks like. I've got a little place. I'll set that right there shouldn't hurt anything <clears throat> I've got a little place uh, I got a little thing going on I got a little tab here that holds the hood up in the front uh, I haven't really I only got that tacked on don't know what I'm gonna do there yet but it's got I put a little hole in the firewall back there so the hood sticks in there it can't go side to side uh, one hole over here was for when we were going to do right hand drive and uh, that's not what we're doing we're not gonna do a right hand drive we don't we don't live in the UK, do we, sweetheart? Nope. And I thought we'd just make it hard to, to draw. Well, hard, but be careful that other finger, Aiden, you're scaring me. <laughs> Hold that other hand away. <laughs> um, so what's going on is we have the brake system right there. So we're getting down to the nitty gritty of, of building the car, I guess, because it's not done. The body's uh, looking the way it should, but it's nowhere near being done. I have this dash. It's made out of pine that goes in there. Uh, and that's how it goes together. It's just been 45 and screwed up from there into the top piece. I'm thinking Jeff did the exact same thing. If you want to come in here, you can see how what I've done there. I've bought a piece of square stock from the window post on this side to the window post on the other side. And uh, I have to get that. We want to get that cleaned out, get this. There's some rusty metal there. I want to get that cleaned out and taken off. That's why we're taking out the window. This part right here where there's a hole in that, where there's a hole in that, and a hole in that, I'm thinking that when we put the dash on, that would be where we hold, how we hold the dash on. We come up from underneath and put a screw in, to, in, in that, and, and then we would be very dashing. Now, but from what I see, or as I'm looking at it, if you, get up in there I've got a gap on the one that's coming down here straight down I got a gap on that one 
I've got a little, these ones up here would be fine, I guess. I'm gonna have to lay on my back in here and um, put a screw up through there, that'd be fine. I'd really want to, what can I say? I would really want to know the distance of the screw before I put it in. I wouldn't want to put, that, put it up through the, uh, the veneer, that's for sure. But we're gonna take the dash out for now. I have to make something for this, is what I'm thinking. And it's, and it's all, you know, I'm gonna do it different than probably anybody else would do it, or there's different ideas, that's for sure. But if you can come in here, Joey, you can see how the booster is just bolt, it's just bolted to a piece of 18 gauge. Like, I can't have the brake pedal just bolted to the 18 gauge. You can imagine putting all your, you know, your, watch your, putting all your strength of your lag on that brake and pushing on it. Uh, you wouldn't you wouldn't want it on a piece of 18 gauge. It would start moving on you, no doubt in my mind. So this piece really has to be, in, see, look, see how it's moving like that? It really has to be in, reinforced. I had a piece, when the steering column comes up through, um, it would be nice if this bolted to the steering column. But I have to have the dash in it and have it in the, the exact place it needs to be before I weld something like this on it and make this go down around the steering column and bolt onto the steering column. I'm thinking what I'm gonna do is, is I'm going to make, make a bracket come off this and bracket come off this and then I can bolt that together and then it can't pull off that. You know, that would sturdy it up instead of bolting it to the, the steering column itself. So uh, I, I just figured that out myself at this present moment. All by myself I did it. Uh, I'm just going to put a make a wall of bracket on here, wall of bracket on there, and we'll bolt it together there, and then it wouldn't. Then this will support it. I might. I'm not sure yet. We're going to piece of, put a piece of aluminum on the front part of the firewall, and we're going to do the front part of the aluminum exactly the same as Jolene's cam covers. That's what we're going to call them now, cam covers. So we're going to do the firewall in the aluminum with the swirl marks in it, machine marks, uh, to imitate her cam covers. You're more welcome to come over this side, Aiden, if you have to, if you want to try to get more done. So let's get the window cut out, and then we can cut out or take out the brake system, and then we'll make some, we'll make some brackets first, and then we'll go from there. We're gonna to have to make a pattern of the firewall itself to uh, put the aluminum in there. I'm not sure if it's going to go into two pieces or one piece or what it's going to do, but let's go for it. You got this side over here pretty well cut, have you, Aiden? I think so. Okay, think so. did you go from top and bottom? Yeah. You did. All right. She's not moving. I'm wondering if I could just cut this off. We're gonna get new stainless, sweetheart. Mm -hmm. And if we're not, we're gonna to have to polish it. I don't like these exacto nice. I think I said that already once. I might want to put some glasses on. <laughs> Notice that? Yeah, it might be a good idea. Everybody looked at me. <laughs> you still got your eyes? Double checking. I'm going to put some safety glasses on. You want a pair of safety glasses, Aiden? I got my own. Okay. Right. <clears throat> What's that? Oh, those, oh, those are mine, she says. You get your own. <laughs> uh, I'm going to pair right here. They're not, they're not the C&I glasses, but... Got my boots on today, got my brand new boots on, the Brunts. And uh, if you need a pair of work boots, I suggest the Brunts. You could wear them out at nighttime, or you could wear them to work. Even Aiden said, you got a new pair of boots on, ain't you? And I said, yes, I do, son. <laughs> He's not my son, but yes, I do. 
Yes, I do. Yeah, this window's not... She, she, she's locked in there, isn't she, huh? Yay! Even to get the stainless, it seems to be something, don't it? <laughs> wow! Oh! It doesn't matter if the window breaks or not, but I'm not trying to break it. I'd rather just take it in one piece. It would be great, but see what happens. Our pair of pliers. That worked out. This lip is all going to have to be cleaned, obviously. Hard thing to work on. Um, hard thing to work on. So I'm just going to get inside this thing, Aiden, for a minute. Right. I, I don't like it on this little table that I have, but I have to trust it at some point um, because we have to work on it. I have to trust it at some point. I'm just thinking that the ground or the cement is uneven. So we're cooking with gas on, I say cooking with gas, but we're going forward on Jolene's car. As long as we keep going forward every day, we should be going in the right position, in the right place. Anything to come off out there, are you eating? You ain't trying to get all the rubber out. Let's we'll see. Hey. That did good for me. Santa Claus fine, you eating? Yeah. See if you can run your knife up around the, the inside here, Aiden. Inside? Oh, yeah. Just right around this part. Right here? Yeah, just slide like this, run it up with the window. Seem to be having good luck getting the rubber off on the inside. Or fairly good luck, I guess. I don't know if you can get out of that way or not. You might have to get right in. Trusting the table. Be careful. Yep. Yeah. So easy. Hey. 
generally you probably don't dig out a window with a pair of pliers, but. Generally I don't think, but you know. There. Wow. Rubber some hurt. <laughs> Once we get it up around the sides here, I'm thinking that we'll be able to push it out, I'm hoping. Yeah, so this is it's not, it's not too bad. I think it's pretty strong. I'm gonna have to add something to the front of this piece here. It's got, we got a little bit of a distance going on there. I'd rather have that up tight than have it not tight. I've got a little distance between here when the dash comes down on this. There's a little bit of distance going on there, but we'll see. We'll end up, I'm gonna end up taking this plastic piece out. There'll be no, um, no air conditioning in this car. Uh, there'll be no ventilation, I don't think, other than the windows itself. That's not what kind of car this is. Right, there we go. Victory! I got, my, I, got my, I got my side piece out anyways. Oh man, that's still stuck in there. Seems to be. I'm gonna do a little bit here, and then it should come out from the bottom. And I will give you these. There we go. If you want, you want to try to take this and just try to grab hold of, just get underneath the underneath that rubber there. Yeah. Ooh, that was scary, wasn't it? <laughs> Rocking the boat. <laughs> All right. Just leave that there like that. I think that's a good idea, just to put a bracket from there up to this up to this dash piece. I don't, I can't see that going anywhere. It'll support it, no doubt. When you're pushing down the pedal, that'll support it. We're putting some aluminum in the front of the firewall, so that should make that a lot stronger here too, because we're going to have to go through that also. You like that feeling? Aiden? I'm getting out, so if it goes up and down on you, that's why. I'll wait till Aiden gets his side out. Can you pull out on there? Might have to snip her again with the take, take your cut. This will be the very first time that the window has ever been out of this car, obviously. And it's gonna be different to see it in there. I think that the window on Jolene's car on this Bugatti sort of makes it sort of makes it a little nicer to me like I like the looks of the front like if you know the original ones or the ones that we went by it had two pieces I think it was a split window we're having a split window also but our split window is a piece that we've made uh, whatever that goes up through there also there's the rivets um, that are going to be put in it I'm going to try to save that one side is smashed off and one side is nice and round and we're going to try to save the or I'm going to try to save the rivets until the end and the reason being is sanding the car down and getting it ready for paint uh, with them rivets on it is not fun i've already done that and i've drilled them all out and took them all off i also had one side in the wrong side we were going to go right hand drive and i put the rivets in the wrong side remember that i put the rivets in the wrong side so now we're going to put the rivets well the rivets are going to go through this way and this way but through, through the spine the rivets are going to be going through this way because you're going to be doing a left-hand drive. How are you making out, Aiden? Wrestling that son of a gun, are you? Huh? Yeah, she's not good to go. There you go. Now you get a hold of her. We're going to pop this window up. Wow. 
it's stuck in there. We got a little spot here we're gonna have to deal with. Not sure what's gonna happen there yet. you're cutting it. All right, good. He's going for it. He's not scared of losing a finger. I got nine more afterwards. Yeah, right. Hey, that thing is in there. Wow. Here, Aiden. Let's just, you just jump out there for a second. Let's, let's give this thing a tap on the front and see if we can't pull this bad boy out. Don't break it, because we need it. Nope. That's not true. Let's give it a tap. Something loosened. Did it loosen for you? Yep, this corner did. All right, go for it. Let me see. Okay. I hit it with a hammer, but... Primer is what's holding it. Primer and filler and all kinds of stuff. All right. This corner is loose. My corner's free, I think. Yeah, this or one has come free. free. This one's free. We're gonna have a problem right there, aren't we? Yeah, center. Probably gonna have to do the top to get it out. Not gonna come over. All right, now we gotta cut that top out because it's not gonna come over. We have to take the top out first. All righty. I'm just gonna. Easier to cut though. I'm gonna cut my side and then you're gonna cut your side. How's that? I'm gonna go as far as I can. And pair of pliers. Let's see how far we can. Come on. What a hard thing to work on. <laughs> huh? Isn't it? He's a bit difficult. Well built. Watch yourself for a second. Pliers here for you, Aiden. If you want them. Yeah. Wow. Oh. Ooh. Huh? That side. See if you can cut your side. Your side cut. around that corner. I think we're getting closer. I think we're getting closer. Mm -hmm. okay. Try your try to corner just a little bit more. Just right around that corner a little bit. Yeah. Right all the way down. And be careful with yourself now, be careful. Here we smuck. Corner's 
still. Just be careful. Yeah, be careful there. Don't hold your hand. Like, ah, to hide that hand. I don't want that for later. Guarantee it. The stainless could be reused. Obviously, could be polished. I got it burred up in a few places. Right, let's give it a hit with a hammer, should you? or a hit with a hand there. Yeah. that bottom piece of stainless off there you can't just kind of getting <laughs> that's that's how easy that stuff gets bent just like that just like Jesus that's almost like the bad chad flexible chrome that stuff that's how thin that is and if it and if it doesn't work out that's what we can use all right we got the window out of it that's the first time the window's ever been out of the car we have not got the carburetor Woo. we have not got the carburetor um pieces that we're getting made yet so we're moved on to this I'm just gonna we'll just clean this out a little bit it's not too bad anyways uh, I want to get this rust out of here there's a couple screws down in here I'm gonna have to maybe grind this side get them off there's a couple screws here for this piece there's a piece of metal right there I want to get that taken off uh, and then we, then we can actually play with the dash and get our hands in here and out of here and all that sort of stuff. I have to, I'll let you clean that up for a second, Aiden. If you want to, just take this and scrape it along there. Gotcha. Scrape that along there, just pull that stuff out. I'm gonna take a measuring tape and just see something here for a second. You gotta see the measuring tape. and you don't put things back. So, I'm gonna, I'm gonna climb in there just for hits and giggles. Make it easier on myself. I got some pieces I gotta cut off in here yet. Alrighty, this right here uh, is, is the steering on the hole that we put in it. There's the other side that we, we're not gonna, we're gonna close that off with the aluminum. Um, I want to take a measurement. What I want to know is, I have to figure something out for a second. What I want to know is, I am nine and a half from the bottom of the firewall. Ten, ten and a quarter center. That that right there piece sets on the the chassis itself um, I've never had the car all together to know if the steering from the rack that goes through the engine mount I do not know um, what do I do not know let's go back here so this is the next this is a mount so I'm 15 the firewalls 14 and a half from the mount. So this this square stock here is, is a mount on uh, the chassis. So I'm I'm 14 and a 14 and a half away from the firewall just to give me an idea. And I'm not and I'm and I'll say the center of that hole is 10 and a quarter. I'll say the So what I'm gonna try to find out is if that hole in the firewall is where I need it. Man, I hate getting these boots dirty, but... Oh, Fina. So right now I'm just gonna get the steering. I have a steering rod here, and we have the steering column, but the steering rod, the car is quite long in the front. So what I wanna know is, so I'm gonna a piece of tape, set that right there. Fourteen and a half, was it not, sweetheart? Fourteen and a half. There's where that hole goes. 
14 and a half. So right about there. Woo! Doesn't look like the engine ain't gonna fit, does it? I gotta go take a look at that for a second. Scaring the bejeebies out of me. Just looking at things, <laughs> just wondering if motor mount's got to be on, right? I guess. And I'll tell you. By the looks, I don't know, but this transmission stick. I don't know. Let's go take a look. Firewalls lean back on it. I would say the firewalls lean back on this car, would you not? Just making me nervous, that's all. I'm gonna measure that again, it is. 14 and a half is the center of that. It must be leaned back. It's got to be. Also, I don't know where the trans where the transmission stick comes out either. I'm hoping we're on in there. Remember, we've got an 84. We started with a 67. The engine I'm talking. So we have a hole in the firewall that's put through there. And it probably was mocked, well, it was mocked up that way, but a lot of things have sort of changed. So this is the, the rack and pinion, obviously. I made a, a uh, universal joint go through the, the motor mount when we first started this bad boy, because it had no place to go. What I need to know is when this goes through there, because it's never really been dealt with, And what I mean dealt with is it's never really been all completely put together. Well, I need to know. Oh yeah, that's no problem. No problem whatsoever. I just want to know if that's going to hit that motor mount, if it goes too high or not. We had 10, 10 and a half. We're not going to hit a thing. We're fine. It's, it's close at the top, is it? but that's what it's all about. I just wanted to know if it was going to come, had to come up like that, if it was going to hit or not. We're not going to hit at all. All I need to do is come up with was 10 and a half. And 10 and a half right there, we're not going to hit anything. We're not going to hit the oil stick. We're not going to hit anything. So 10 and a half is fine on the firewall of that car. I just want that slide in there, but I guess it's not going to in a second. So that's fine. You can see right now how I've got a hole drilled in there. I got two holes in drilled in there actually. Um, one hole was not in this place, so I drilled another hole to put uh, the pin in for this steering shaft. So when this steering shaft goes in, there's a set pin in there, and I'm going to have to put a little drill, drill a little spot in this, a little hole or a little divot. So when I put that in there, then I can put the set pin in this double D shaft. That's what this shaft is called, a double D shaft. Uh, three quarter inch double D shaft. So that goes inside that. Right there. Get in there. I want it to go inside. So Anyways, that goes inside there, and then I'll put in the set pin, and then this will go through the firewall to the steering column itself. So Jolene is actually sitting way back, way back there. That's what's going on.
so that's fine so I can actually open that hole up I wanted to know if I could open the hole up on the firewall to put in a uh, we need a swivel ball a three-quarter inch swivel ball socket here um, as the steering goes in here you can see how it's going to just miss the pedal we're going through like that so it's on the other side of the pedal that's good this piece here was just cut off um, to make myself happy but what I'm going to do now is I'm going to clean it up a little bit actually I'm going to weld a bracket from here and a bracket on top of this and so we can bolt it together and make it easier than trying to connect it to the dash or uh, the column itself the col Jolene's column is going to have a ball socket down here and have a ball socket in the dash itself so it's going to have two ball sockets to hold the steering column nice and tight um, the dash is going to be screwed to this Yeah, we really want to make sure that the dash is really secured that to put the steering column in it. I also could leave um, these tab leave these tabs on here uh, to yeah I can put a bracket here and a bracket there, bolt it there for the for the brake unit itself, and then I can drill a hole here and drill a hole here if I want to put something around the steering column and, and, and really mount it nice and tight and right, which probably would be a good idea. It's just a hard place to mess with. Take a take a grinder, Aiden, and just a zip cut. See if you can get a screwdriver and take those out. Uh, those we'll, three. Well, I know you're not going to get them two out down there on that end, are you? You no. can't even see them, but see if you can pull these bad boys out. And I'll see if I can get a screwdriver and go for it myself. So, I'm going to put this back. So this will be going through the, this is, this is her steering column, this will be going through the firewall with a ball socket, this will be the double D, the double D joint that goes on the end of this, that goes on is onto that. So this is the steering column and it has a release so the steering wheel comes off, easy to get into which is a great thing and that goes on there like that and then And that there will go on there like like so. Those are in there, so it won't go in there. Those have to come out. But that'll go on there like that. So we got one down by the steering, one one universal joint there. Then we'll have a nice shiny one where you see it. Goes on the end of the steering column. The steering column stainless, so it'll really look the part. So now what I have to do is, is get a ball socket uh, to go into the firewall. We have a ball socket. I got a couple brackets here. Probably use it. Let me see what happens. Clean them up. Come out, no problem. Got one of them. The other one stripped. All right, we'll cut it off. Go for it. I'm just going to clean these up. I'm going to probably use this because one will go on. that. So we'll bolt one on there, put one on the bottom. Can you see that? We'll weld one there and then we'll weld one on that. We'll clean this off, but I got to clean these up. I kind of used them for something else, but I saved them. So that's what I'm going to do. But we still should have something from the brake to the steering column itself. I really don't want to have the steering column depending on the dash, the wood of the dash, which it still probably would be fine, but I do, I do not want to do that. I'm going to grab this. Extension cord. So we got a bunch of tedious stuff to do, but that's what's got to be done. I've seen my I've seen eyeglasses in here. And it's good to have Aiden back. I'll get twice as much done. Wash your bare hands.
Huh? Extra pair of hands. Yeah, you can take a zip cut and just cut the head of that off if, if possible. All right. And you can take a zip cut and cut the head of that off, cut the head off. All I want is that, that metal out of there. That's what I want. Gotcha. And I, I want that one out of there too. If you, can, if you can handle that for me, please and thank you. That'd be fantastic. Thank you. Alrighty. This one's the, the mighty all-powerful one, so when you pull the trigger, it's going to take off on you. There you go. All right. First time with the window out of it. Got to take a look. First time. I'm just going to grind the bracket and make it look like it was made that way. I'm not going to do anything other than that. I'm just going to grind it to make it look like it was made that way. Do we have another extension cord? Hmm. We don't want to unplug that one. Is that the issue? How about I give you one of the half of this one? Actually, we do have another extension cord. It's running aside. How about I grab it? Because it doesn't need to be out there. It's right there. Thank you. Got a little bit of Christmas on it, but that won't hurt us none. <laughs> no, that's yeah, okay. So, let's get some of this off it. There you go, man. Right. Plug her anywhere as you can need her. Thank you, thank you. Joel, you wouldn't have that kind of doors, would you? <laughs> Just a joke between us and a baby, right? This little bracket that I'm doing is three sixteenths. All kinds, all kinds of metal there for doing what I'm doing. Those are probably hot, no doubt in my mind. That looks better already, Aiden. One's off. One's off. Here we go. for that.
almost there. Try to square that up so it looks nice. So what I've got it done, I've got a, I've got a lock, lock nut put on that. You probably never want the steering to come undone or come loose. So basically I've just put it on there like that. And if I weld it on like that, I should get a true read. So I weld it on there like say, like that, and like that. Then I should have a true read on taking it apart where it's supposed to be. So that's what I'm going to do. I'll weld this one from the back side, and I'll weld this one from the front side. Can't really get at that. sandpaper to knock the top of the paint off that just so I can get the best penetration as possible. Sure mate does make a difference. Like I really could get out of place if I wanted to just by, I'm hoping that the, the weight of this keeps my pedal down would be the best place, you know. And if I said, see I can bring that up like that, uh, that wouldn't probably fit the hood if I did that, if you know what I'm trying to say. Pushing up on it. Pushing up on it. So basically what I want to do is make sure this is up when I weld that on there is what I'm thinking. I took a notice of that. You're just going to have to give me a second, Eden. Not to worry. I want to knock on that, knock that on. Sometimes it's the best way just to plug something together, like uh, this bracket. Instead of me welding it on one bracket and then trying to weld the other bracket on, just bolt it together and then weld it on both places. That way there you know it fits. Every time I put that hat on that on that welder, I know that it falls on the ground. I don't know why I keep doing it, but I do. Alrighty. <clears throat> Just looking at it and see which one I like the best for the front or the back. Now well, this one on this side. Aiden, you want to sit in the car for me for a second? Sure. I'm just all I'm gonna do is get you to look at. See now. <clears throat> I haven't got a true read there right at the present moment because of the, the bolts on this. Will you can you tighten that top one up? 
see how see how that's loose from that if I start welding that bracket on there like that I would never get that tight and right I'm just kind of wondering can you tighten that top one up on the right hand on the right hand side well that on the top of that will that tighten up can you tighten that by hand I can put a washer behind that also to make sure it stays top right is tight top right is tight we got quite a ways to go now <clears throat> when you're looking down through there see I can go this way well, I can mess it up real quick <laughs> yeah. you know what I'm saying which way is the better way to go is it better to go this way yeah I would say because so. because of the brake pedal and the steering so I want this brake pedal I want to be able to put the straight past it straight past it I'm going to weld the top one first, and then we'll do the bottom one. Can you hold that on either side of that bracket? I want you to hold that bracket right up. Um, I want you to bring it back to back to this back edge. Bring it right here somewhere. See if you can get it. Somewhere like that would be fantastic. Or I'll tack one side, and then uh, try not to weld your fingers. I got a ground on that, have I? Yeah. It should be able to let go. With this here is not looking. It should be brought up some on that side. Yeah. Get a hammer. I will. You stay exactly where you're at. See, you're the guy that you're the guy that I can blame if it's crooked. Right? That Dade was in there. Just want to give it a tap on this side. Looks better, doesn't it? I would say so. Good enough. I'll just get you to hold your finger underneath that side. Hold that tight. Try not to weld you. All right, we're in place. Now, if I hold that up like that, Aiden, is that, is that, a, is that okay? Yeah. All right, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to get you to come back out. Eat. So we're just going to get you to kind of push on it, push like that and down. So over that way and down. You're in place. Okay, so I have to weld that up. <clears throat> Secure now. You know, it's a lot better, that's for sure. And the bolt can be changed. It can go through the other way if it has to, but I'm not sure if it has to or it doesn't have to, I guess. I'm going to let Aiden take and get those two screws out of that, pull that metal off. We'll get a stripper wheel in there. We'll get this all cleaned off of the stripper wheel, get the chunks all cleaned off all the way around so it's nice and clean. We've got a lot, lot more of, uh, urethane, I would probably say it, it is. It's some nice and hard. We'll get that cleaned off of the, with the stripper wheel or the flapper wheel, whatever. And we'll get this cleaned off of the flapper wheel. I'll weld this bracket up, weld that bracket up, round off the edges of, of this piece here. We'll end up, there's, we got the dash down to the house. So um, we got, the, we got a, ball, a ball socket down to the house and then it'll be on to fitting the ball socket to this firewall. It's got to fit in the firewall. And we got to have it fit in there because we're going to put a piece of aluminum on top of this with the machined spirals in it. 
this has to come back off. The aluminum has to go on, so all the holes have to be drilled in the aluminum exact same as the firewall. <clears throat> so that's where we're going. So I'm going to let Aiden take off those three screws. We're going to clean up the window. We can show you that as far as that goes. You want to keep on rocking and rolling? Run an hour? So that's what we're going to do. He's going to pull these two screws out, pull this rusty piece of metal off, which came out perfect, like on the other side. I'm going to weld this up so the, so the pedal is nice and strong and right. So it's not going to bend now because we're welded to this post. We're welded to that post. We're welded up to the uh, window section. So this is going to be welded up. You know you're not going to be able to pull that down now that that's in place. Uh, the firewall is going to be doubled up with aluminum. We're cooking with gas. All right, everybody, thanks for coming back and taking a look and watching what we're doing. Uh, we're building a $40 million Bugatti from our brain. And uh, my brain told me to do it because Jolene looks amazing, as always. And uh, we're, we, want, we want to finish it, so we're, we're going to have to tidy all this little small stuff up. I hope you come back and watch. Like, subscribe, comment. See you tomorrow.